gonna update really quick on my uh, aquaponic grow. It's been like maybe almost three weeks since I made my first video, or my second video, I think it was, um, with the growth. So I, I started this this here garden on the Oct uh, August 30th. Everything's exploding. It's my kale and it's spinach growing throughout. Spinach here, spinach here. These lettuces are growing up nice. They're all different ages. Here I have some small ones scattered throughout here. This mess over here, this is, um, I can't remember what this is. It came in the, uh, like a mescaline mix seed pack. It's like spicy. I can't remember what it is. It, it tastes good, but it's, it's like grows out of control. I cut it back a few times. Pain in the ass. But I got a couple of green leaf lettuces back here. This is all different uh, ages. This one back here is a nice big one. Be ready to harvest in a couple of weeks. Start picking off of that. And uh, here's another uh, produce of the uh, that uh, mescaline mix. This one too. I don't like that mescaline mix. They they don't really produce that good. Like this thing grows like a weed. Everything else is sporadic. This flame leaf lettuce is growing really nice. Like I said, I have all the, all different um, all different ages, so uh, I can just keep having like a perpetual harvest. Uh, over on this side, I have all herbs. They a couple uh, spinaches. Yeah, the leaves are turning turning yellow on them. I don't know. I think those are just the, uh, the first leaves that grew out. All the newer leaves are all green, but um, thinking about getting some chelated iron to put into the tank. I have cilantro here, cilantro. I planted some more herbs. I had a couple of uh, uh, sugar snap peas back there. I took them out and I planted some more um, herbs because the sugar snap peas were very leggy and they were growing all over the place, so outgrowing everything. And I had nowhere to, to put them. They were like vining out, and they, they weren't getting any light. So I just cut them. I gotta get a, a bush type a pea in order for it to grow here. Here's some uh, sweet basil, some sage, some parsley. This is parsley over here too. Uh, lemon basil, uh, dill back here. This lemon basil got a little close to the light, it turned brown, but it doesn't seem to be. Affecting it, these dark oval basil's grown beautiful. This stuff smells delicious. Tastes like uh, like licorice. It's got a licorice uh, flavor to it. So yeah, that's, that's how it looks so far. It's, I'm really impressed. It's growing well. Like I said, I think I might have to get some chelated iron because some of these some of these plants, like this one here, you can see a little spotty yellow on it, but other than that, it's really not having an issue. Colors are nice. Look at that. Real healthy. No pests. Knock on wood. Using a uh, hydro farm. Uh, H uh, T5. Excellent. Here's, here's my tilapia. Down the bottom, hard to see, but I got different ages. I have a bunch of fry on this side. Uh, yeah, it's fry. Hard to see there. And I have uh, bigger dudes over there. The other side. Hard to see. I'm not going to waste time doing that. That's it. I think it was about three weeks since the last time I showed a video on this. This is how it's all going down. I was having trouble my bell siphon, but I figured out the problem with that. My rate of flow wasn't that great, so it wasn't uh, wasn't draining. Uh, so I, what I did was I bought a um, bought a fountain pump, like a 300 gallon an hour fountain pump. That, that took care of the problem real quick. I had an Eheim uh, aquarium filter in there, which I still have running just to keep the water uh, clean. Has no effect on the nitrates or anything like that. Just keeps uh, keeps the water clear and nice for the fish. All right, thanks for watching this. Uh, yeah, this this whole thing here was inspired by uh, J T Bear, cool dude out of Canada. He's got some cool hydroponic stuff on his website. I recommend you check him out if you want to try this out.